Are vultures dangerous to humans? Many years ago, I lived in Akron. Every year, a huge flock of migrating buzzards would come to a dam in Hinkley so on the day that they were supposed to appear, my girlfriend and I drove to Hinkley with binoculars to look for the buzzards. In fact, we were far from the only ones to show up. There were several hundred people in the parking lot, most with binoculars, waiting for the buzzards to appear. Nothing. Not a sign of them. Kind of boring. So, eventually, we went for a walk in the nearby park. We walked quite a ways into a field with small trees and brush. We wanted to be alone as teenagers often do and so we were alone, and then, out of the sky came hundreds of buzzards. They were huge. They landed all around us. The field was thick with buzzards, some no more than 10 feet away. If they had so desired, I'm sure the flock could have done some serious damage but none of them seemed the least bit interested in attacking or threatening us. After a few moments we both felt safe and secure, though when they first landed in such great numbers it was definitely unsettling. If you were a very tiny human, or possibly very incapacitated, and the vultures were very hungry, they might attack humans. They might also attack out of fear if suddenly confronted. The only time I was attacked by a bird was not by this giant flock of vultures but by a red-winged blackbird. They are very territorial, I was jogging near the museums in Chicago and wearing a bright red shirt. Apparently, the red-winged blackbird thought I might be trying to steal his mate. Furtherest thing from my mind. I'm out jogging and suddenly a bird dives at me. I am still jogging thinking to myself, that bird tried to attack me. No, don't be silly. Birds don't attack humans. Then, it dived after me again. I've never had one actually dive bomb me, but several other times they have gotten very agitated when I've gone by male red-winged blackbirds. They make it extremely clear that I am not welcome. That bird was probably one one hundredth the weight of a vulture. Animals usually follow their regular patterns of behavior. Any animal might be dangerous if it is sick, frightened, or thinks you are a threat to its family. Pink flamingo are in the vulture family. Since people associate them with death, there are lots of false ideas. They are a beautiful animal for what they do. In India they decided they were bad and started a program to kill them. In the end dead animals did not get eaten and were consumed by wild dogs, spreading rabies and 40,000 people died of the horrible painful disease. They clean and eat things nothing else can. They have special acids in their stomach that can even break down a snake's poison. There are black vultures and turkey vultures. They live in symbiosis. The turkey vultures are thought to have the best smelling ability of any animal in history. The find the food. Black vultures push their way to the front of the line. They are more aggressive but they also tear the food up to allow it to be eaten better. Indians call the turkey vulture the peace eagle, that is how docile they are. They pee on their feet to clean them. They puke into their young's mouth to feed them. If you climb up a cliff and bother their nest they may puke on you, instead of their young. For some reason they like humans and often build nests near farms. One couple went on a hike after work each night. Soon, good old Charlie, would swoop in and fly along beside them until they complete their walk. The wife was in a car accident. One spring day, in their town of 12,000 people, she went outside to the back deck to get some sun. Within a few minutes, Charlie showed up to check her out and see if she was okay. He had smelled her in the wind. No, not that I'm aware of. I live in Arkansas, the USA, and we have many vultures around here, but they never harm humans. The only way they might come even remotely close to you is if you were walking, driving past them on the road. Like most wild animals, especially birds, they're very shy of humans. Even if they're in the middle of feeding on a dead carcass, they'll get as far away from you as they can if you come close. They have an innate, instinctive fear of humans and, as far as I know, they are never aggressive. They may be aggressive with other vultures, the bigger the vulture, the more dominance they have. But they will never attack a human. Vultures are the name given to a group of carnivore birds such as the bearded eagles or condors. They love to prey on injured animals or dead carcass but don't like to fight. So unless the human is crawling and injured, chances are you are safe with them. 
I have read stories they actually became the savior for lost travelers who lured them down for food when pretending to be dead.